So for this setup guide, I'm going to be showing you how to use the best Dreamcast emulator and link it up with Launchbox. I'm going to go through some video settings with you and just generally get you the best performance possible. So check this video out. <laughs> So if you're new to my channel and you like what you see today, hit notifications and subscribe so you get videos as I upload them. I generally upload mostly emulation content and I cover many front ends as well as standalone emulators. So today I'm looking at Sega Dreamcast and how to get this up and running through Launchbox. So I'm running the latest Launchbox 13.6 and if you're new to Launchbox, check out my complete and comprehensive setup guide in my Launchbox playlist. So first of all, we're going to download Redream and by far this is the best emulator on Windows PC. Uh, you've got a free version of this or if you go premium, you can get up to 4K playback, which is a real good feature. So what we're going to do is firstly check compatibility and under here this is going to tell you everything which is running with Dreamcast. So this is pretty much the entire worldwide catalog of Dreamcast games from Japanese games to American games and power games. So as we can see playable 921 and there's literally just around less than 30 games which don't really boot. So we're going to go to download and upgrade to premium if you want to enhance your games to high definition or if you want the free version we're going to go down to stable releases and download this for windows and this is going to download into a zipped folder so once you download your zipped folder just place it on your desktop for easy access i'm going to right click go to new and folder and i'm going to just call this one redream and I'm going to remind you that you don't need any BIOS files for Redream. It's got its own alternative BIOS files, which developers have included, and games work just fine. So once you've created your Redream folder, just drag in your zips folder and go inside and just extract it. So as you can see, I'm using WinRAR. You might be using WinZip or 7-Zip, uh, but they'll pretty much work the same. And here we go. And whilst I'm in here, I'm just going to drag in my fourwheelfunder.chd game. And for those unfamiliar with .chd, it's pretty much a .bin or .q file compressed into one image, which saves a lot of space as well. So before we go into Launchbox, I'm going to just open up Redream. And here we go. So our game's automatically detected. And just let me remind you, before we link this with Launchbox, you do all your video settings under the Redream, and you don't do this through Launchbox. You can't do it through Launchbox. So if we go under Video, we can change the window mode. So if you just left click on here, we can get exclusive full screen and full screen. We also got a window size for those who want to play this without it being full screen. And we got game aspect ratio, so I think that speaks for itself. 4x3 is very small, like an old style box screen image, and 16x9 is a widescreen, slightly stretched image. And if we go to system, we can even change the quality of how the game looks by going to cable. Uh, you've got composite, VGA, and RGB. For technical fans out there at Dreamcast, you'll know what this is about. And if we also go to broadcast, you can change uh, how fast this game runs. So, so obviously, PAL is going to run slower than NTSC. And we can also change the region here for our game. So say, for example, I've got a United States copy of a game. I would select region, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. So we've got this set up and our game is now in the library. So let's go into Launchbox and link this up. Okay, so now we've got Redream emulator configured to however you want it looking. We're going to go into the latest Launchbox, which is 13.6. And from here, I'm going to go to Tools, Manage, Emulators, and I'm going to go to Add. And emulator name is going to be Redream. And under application path, we need to find that Redream emulator XE. So wherever you've put that, you need to left click on the icon or known as a .xe and just open. 
and I'm going to press OK and close. Now we need to import our game into Launchbox. So again, go to Tools, Import, ROM Files, and Next. And my game is on my desktop, so I'm going to go to Add Files as it's one game or one file. So Desktop, and it's just here for Wolfunder.chd, Open, and Next. And what platform are you importing games for? So you can either type in Sega Dreamcast or you can pull it down and look for it. So next. And because I've just downloaded and configured the emulator Redream, I'm going to go for manually configure emulator. And choose the emulator. So Redream is already selected. Press next. And use the files in their current location. So if you want to transfer these anywhere else through Launchbox, select one of the top two options. I'm going to go and choose use the files in their current location and press next. And then we got our artwork selection. So just let me tell you that if you download everything, you'll be clogging up your hard drive unnecessarily. You don't want all of this. But I'm going to select everything just for this setup guide. And I'm going to press next and next and next again and here's our game ready to import and just bear in mind if your title doesn't come up as a correct name of your game then just be sure to rename it by just double left clicking and renaming it otherwise your artwork uh, won't download properly so finish <laughs> And here we go. So here's our game now imported. And if I just right click on it and left click, I can now launch it with Redream. So let's launch with Redream. Four Wheel Thunder! So that's it from my Launchbox Dreamcast and Redream setup guide today. Like I said at the start of the video, if you like this video today, be sure to hit notifications and also subscribe. It helps my channel out a lot and it also gets you videos as I upload them. And also make sure to check out my description. I've put links to all my different Launchbox setup guides in there. But until next time, stay retro.